What it is, what it do, it's Nerdy Boy Drew, and you're watching Nerdy Boy Lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. So if you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be, you know, testing out some new stuff. Some, some, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we gonna, we, we gonna see, we gonna see. So basically, I was scrolling on Twitter, and when I was scrolling on Twitter, you know, you know, Twitter got everything, everything be going on on there. By the display. When I was scrolling, I saw this one like TikTok, but it was on Twitter, and it was this guy, and he was making a shirt, and he only like he just printed out a regular picture, and he printed out the regular picture, wrapped it in like saran wrap, and you know, right here. I'm gonna put the video right here if I can. But yeah, basically he just wrapped it in saran wrap, put it down, and ironed over, it, and he was able to do like a photo transfer onto a T-shirt using saran wrap. So. I thought it would be pretty fun if I try to, you know, see if that is real or fake. So that's what this video is going to be today. Yeah, and I'm going to, you know, make a shirt. And, you know, take a picture and put it on here. And see if this works. Because if y'all, I, if I, if I, I said this in my other video, I make t-shirts. So if this is like a new cool way, you know, I'm, I'm hip to learning it. So yeah. That's the video today. So, yeah. Wait, I'm gonna do a thumbnail. I'm the type of kid that's always on my grind. My business education, yeah, that's always on my mind. Okay, I think I gotta get it. But yeah, okay. So, by watching that video, I think the supplies that I'm going to need are a T-shirt, a printed out piece picture, which will be this picture because I love Rick and Morty. Uh, saran wrap and parchment paper. So, and I have all that stuff downstairs. Thing. So, we're gonna be doing that today. And yeah, so let's get on with the video. My style and my swag, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. Bow ties and four eyes, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. My brain goes insane, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. You wouldn't understand, it's a nerdy thing. My goals. Okay, so I got the picture, but I'm not the best cutter. You see that little white outline around it? I want to get rid of that, but I'm scared I'm going to mess up the picture if I get too close. I'm going to try my best, though. I sucked it up and just did it. And I think it came out pretty cool. You know, like, I feel like I didn't do too bad on the cut. And it looked like a perfect square, you know. Some in some world, you know. <laughs> okay, sorry, I got a little excited. Okay, so now the next step, we gotta wrap this in shrink. Wrap. Yeah, we gotta wrap this in shrink wrap. So let me go get the shrink wrap. You wouldn't understand it's a nerdy thing. My style and my swag, it's a nerdy thing. Bow ties and four eyes, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. My brain goes insane, yeah, it's a nerdy thing. You wouldn't understand, it's a nerdy thing. So, basically, I wrapped the picture. Boom. Got the shirt, boom. But in the video, he used an iron. I'm not about to use no iron, because I have, I own a heat press. And it gets hotter. So, except for holding that iron down for five minutes, I can just, you know, probably expedite the process, you know, using this. We're going to see if that's gonna work so. but since the heat press does get hotter i'm gonna do mine more so in increments of heat like five seconds up check it five seconds down check it five seconds down check it like i'm gonna do increments just to control the heat and control what's going on but other than that we can see how this how this works out yeah. Yeah, it's a nerdy thing. I'm the type of kid that's always on my grind. My business education, yeah, that's always on my mind. I like to play and chill on my spare time. Maybe hit up the booth and I can. All right, y'all. So here we go. Let's see the final results. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all, I'm shocked, but <laughs> like I am shocked. But first, I want to talk about the process. So the actual process of making this 
shirt, what you just saw before this. It was actually pretty simple, and I feel like it would have still even been simple if I used the iron, even though I cheated and used my Teflon sheet and my heat press. But I feel like it would have still been simple, right? It would have been longer, but it would probably would have been simple. This was a very creative and inexpensive way to make a custom t-shirt. Like, my t-shirt is like $5. Bet, like, I feel like saran wrap parchment paper couldn't be less than five. Like, would be like $5 or less. And then printing off of a printer that you already have at home, your ink is pretty expensive and a printer is pretty expensive. But like, if you already have those things, then making t-shirts and doing this stuff would be a breeze. Like. This is Goldie. Hi, Bubs. Hi, Bubby. He came in here for once, because last video, he didn't want to come in here. He was being a butt face. But yeah, this is my Bubby. His name is Kobe, but I'll call him Bubby. Hi, Bubs. I feel like that was cool. So, process, I will give it, like, an 8 out of 10. And I only say that because... Me, I did it with the heat press, and I, I my mistake I think I did with the heat press is it was hot, hotter than an iron. So I let it sit down there for like a good 50 seconds, and my dumb self started to pick off the, the parchment paper right afterwards, and it was sticking to it. I was like, oh shoot, oh shoot. So I had to lay it back down and wait to it to get cold, like to cool down, then peel it off. So, and then when I peeled it off, like some of the edges was coming up. So I took my mini iron and went around it to keep it secure and stuff, you know, the usual. I like, went around it, secured the edges, blase spleen, got that done. So, process, 8 out of 10. Effectiveness, 10 out of 10. Like, I feel like it was, like, it was great. Like, if I have a picture that I want done, like, without having to do, like, a transfer sheet or nothing like that, like, just using my actual printer and some saran wrap out the kitchen, I could just make a t-shirt, boom, bada, boom, without having to go to the store and get, like, a transfer sheet or do all that extra stuff, blah, blah, I can just make it happen. And then presentation, how this shirt turned out, I was actually pretty proud for it. For it, the process that it took, I feel like it turned out pretty great. And I'm about to show y'all the finished product in a minute after this is done, because I didn't. I wanted to build up suspense and give y'all a review. Then I'm gonna show you how the uh, shirt turned out. And um, yeah. So pre presentation, based off of everything and how it looks, I would give it. I would give it a good, mm, I give it a good 8 out of 10 too for pre presentation. Like, I'm surprised of how it turned out and how it looked, but if you like look really closely to the shirt, like the edges, you can see like this like film around it that's the, from the saran wrap so shrinking, like sticking itself to the shirt. But I also feel like it was my fault because of the heat press and it being too hot, so I probably made it all rigid, made it less... Like more, I made it. I feel like I made the saran wrap super hot to where it was just sticky, except for slowly just adhering it. So I feel like I, if you are a t-shirt maker and you have a heat press, don't use your heat press. I say if you have like something that's a little bit colder, or at least turn down the temperature on your heat press if you're gonna do it. Like I did like a good 310 and did it with 15 seconds, and it was a little hot. It still turned out pretty good, but I feel like the edges look the way that they do because of that decision. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. So uh, process, eight out of 10. Effectiveness, 10 out of 10. And presentation is a good, I'll give it a nine out of 10. I said eight out of 10, but I'm gonna say nine out of 10 for presentation because I feel like it was my fault that it didn't look as great as it was, but if it isn't, I'm gonna still give it that one point off. But yeah, so that's my ratings. So now let me show you how this shirt turned out. I was sitting in class the other day. Didn't really care what the teacher had to say. There was a new student that had to come my way. She said, How's your day? Her name okay, was Janae. Let's not mention she had my attention. I was distracted and physically attracted. I was kind of feeling her. She was kind of feeling me. I know we in math, but I was really right. feeling chemistry. Huh? Okay, here we go. So this is the finished product of the shirt. It's real sturdy. Like not no problems, no no peels off the ends. Like it's real durable. 
I haven't tested the washer and dryer test for this shirt, but I would recommend just how it feels. I would recommend washing it inside out and drying it inside out. But I feel like this is nice. This is, this is nice. This experience, like, this is great. This experience was pretty cool. Shirt sure turned out really nice. And yeah, I, I do recommend you guys try this at home. Remember, I said if you are using a heat press, try not to make it so hot. Your iron, I think it should be fine. Really pay attention to the like the edges to make sure it's secure. And when you wash and dry it, put it inside out just for protection reasons. But other than that, this is a great idea. Thank you for the Twitter the Twitter person who helped me with this. They gave me the idea. It's gonna be I'll probably put it on the screen. The person on Twitter that posted this, and uh, actually, I'll put the TikTok person who the twitter person posted yeah that and yeah so you know that's the end of the video make sure you guys like subscribe comment wait what make sure you guys like comment subscribe follow me on all my social medias and i hope you guys have a wonderful day it is easter that i'm recording this video and i just hope everybody had a wonderful easter since this video is not going to be posted on easter but i hope everybody had a wonderful easter especially with all this corona in quarantine going on. I hope everybody is well, safe, healthy, and staying indoors. And it's almost over, hopefully. And yeah. So, you know, be blessed, stay focused, and remember, stay nerdy, guys.